What's up guys? Welcome back to Abby's Designs. My name is Mike. Today I'm going to start building uh, an assembly table. It's also going to serve as an outfeed table for my table saw. Um, I got a little bit carried away and started cutting and um, planning down some of these pieces for the legs and then I forgot that I wanted to record this so that I could make a video for it. So I got pieces for my legs cut and a couple of the sides jointed and planed. Um, and so I'm gonna just glue these legs together, we need to let these sit, and then I'll cut them to their final dimensions once they're all glued up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now that the legs are glued up and cut to their final dimensions, I can create the two leg assemblies by attaching the legs with some stretchers. I chose to just use bolts in all of these joints simply because I don't plan on being in this shop forever and so I'm eventually going to have to move this table. And if these joints were all glued together, I wouldn't be able to take the bottom portion of this table apart as easily. So I figured this thing would be nice and sturdy without any glue and that, that proved to be the case. After this was all um, bolted together, the entire uh, assembly was nice and square, it's nice and sturdy. I've been using it for a couple months now and it is uh, it hasn't moved around at all and it supports all the work that I've thrown at it. The design for this table is a mirror of the workbench that I have behind me. Um, that workbench was not my design. This table is not necessarily my design either. It's a pretty common construction, very simple using dimensional lumber, um, but it mirrors that workbench um, design fairly well. So I think they go well together. With the main frame of the table fully assembled, I flipped it over and then added this 3 quarter inch plywood blocking to each of the leg sections that I could use then to attach casters to. Um, these casters obviously offer some mobility for the table. They also allow me to lock the table into a certain location and not, not have the table roll around on me while I'm trying to work on the top. After the casters were attached, the next step was to add the shelves. I started with the bottom shelf with, since the table was already flipped upside down. Um, I measured the opening and cut some half inch, I believe, uh, half inch plywood to create the shelf. I had to notch out the corners of the plywood so that they would work around the leg assemblies. And once I had the shelves cut to the dimensions that I needed, I then um, set them in the opening that they were going to be fit in and attach them to the underside uh, inside of the stretchers with some cleats. Um, it's a little tough to see here but you'll get a better view of it in just a moment. I just wanted to make sure that the, what will be the top of those shelves is nice and flush with those stretchers. And then I also added this cross uh, bracing piece. So for the top, I set the top, what will be the top of the um, table on my sawhorses and flip this table upside down on top of the top. And there you can see a little bit better view of the um, cleat system attaching the top with those cleats to the stretchers. All right guys, the assembly table is all done. It's four foot by three foot, and it's on casters, so it can move around, the caster's locked, so I can keep it in position if I need to. Um, I'm excited to have this table. It's gonna serve three separate purposes for me. Um, obviously it's an assembly table, so I'll be using it for that. It's gonna serve as a secondary work surface um, from my workbench. 
I got access on all four sides so that I can uh, you know, work on projects from all four sides, so I'm excited about that. It's also gonna serve at times as an outfeed table for my table saw. Um, when I'm ripping down longer stock, I can use this as an outfeed table. And then also it's gonna serve as some storage. Um, still playing around with the storage underneath and what I wanna keep there and uh, where it's all gonna be located. Definitely wanna have my air compressor up off the ground and in a spot where it's gonna live. Um, and so that's for sure. Everything else I'm still playing around with. Um, I'm gonna see how I, how I use this table in the next couple weeks and then I plan on uh, making some modifications and some changes to it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, hit the like button and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I got some other uh, kind of shop projects that I am planning on getting to along with uh, a couple big, pro big projects that I'm hoping to finish up here in the next couple of days. So um, again, thanks for watching and have a great day.